Welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework demonstration. In this demonstration, you're going to see how to create a simple application consuming web services. So let's get started. So we're going to create a new mobile application framework app using the mobile application framework SDK. Click OK. I'm going to call my application demo app. Hit finish. And JDeveloper, which is the tool that I'm using to uh, develop my mobile application here, is going to create all the necessary artifacts for me. So the first thing that I'm, I'm going to have to do is to create a new feature of my application. And a feature could be a, a compared to a module of my application. So I'm going to create my first module, which is going to be, I'm going to call it Contacts. And then the next step that I have to take is set the content. And there are many content options in here. I could pretty much use uh, the pre-built components and uh, drag and drop those, those 80 plus pre-built components that we have available onto a math AMX page. I could use local HTML5, uh, JavaScript and CSS as you know any kind of development uh, using those uh, those things could be leveraged here and imported into the framework and we're going to go through that process as well and you can also use a remote URL where you just point uh, your page uh, to load a server-side uh, HTML uh, generated so let's take a look on the first one map AMX and we are going to create a, a little flow and of my contacts uh, feature so we're going to get, uh, first of all, we're going to, cre to create a contact uh, flow and that flow is going to be a two-page flow. And on the first page, we're going to have a list of users or list of my contacts. And then when I tap on each one of them, I'm going to, I'm going to navigate uh, to the contact details. So that's the idea of this uh, little uh, demonstration. So I'm going to set up here contact uh, task flow. And when I do that, hit OK. So J Developer uh, starts, you know, creating the art, the necessary artifacts for me. So I have, uh, I can drag and drop a view. So this is going to be contacts uh, list, and then I'm going to drag and drop another view, which is my second page, contact contacts detail, contact details, and then I'm going to link those pages together and say get details is going to be the name of the transition that I'm going to use and then the transition that I'm going to use is the type of flip right so you can use many different predefined uh, transition transitions and the transition that, are, that we're going to use from the contacts list to the contact details page is going to be the flip right and then on the way back from the contact details on the way back to the contact uh, contacts list so we're going to flip left obviously so right now, so we're going to uh, double click on the contacts list activity and create my first page here. So contacts list, I don't need a primary action, which is the button on the left. I don't need a secondary action, which is the button on the right. I don't need a footer either. And I'm just a keep, just keep the header here uh, for the sake of the demonstration. So my first page is automatically uh, generated and then I can see a preview if I want to. So this is the preview on the iPhone. I have many. I have Android and iPhone and iPads uh, that I can set uh, as the preview. So I'm going to keep the iPhone because I'm going to be deploying this a little app on my uh, iOS simulator. And what I'm going to do now is just uh, start customizing my page. And this is my contact uh, list. And I need to insert some data in here. So instead to hard code everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call a REST uh, web service. So to do that, I right click on my project, go to the new uh, menu, and then just go into uh, the gallery. And then the gallery has uh, many different uh, categories here. And then I'm going to use the web services. And on the web service, I have the web service data control, SOAP or REST uh, for this particular page or this particular um, task flow so I'm gonna use uh, rest and I'm gonna set a name contacts data control 
and this is a rest operation so I don't have any rest connections I have to create a new one so this is my contacts rest connection and my URL is HTTP column slash slash localhost port number 7001 so I navigate to the next page on the wizard and I'm going to set up my resource path which is going to be called users and the users I have a get operation and I'm gonna use a display name of uh, users so this is returning XML um, on my rest server so I could pretty much set up my um, schema definition if I had one I don't so that's gonna be plain XML returning from this uh, web service invocation and I hit finish and then I can also see what is generated on this data control so I'm gonna be returning uh, my user ID first name last name date of birth and address and that's what I'm gonna be populating on the screen right now so it's it is created as a rest connection and also you know the data is gonna be available as a data control as you could see I have my contacts DC uh, it stands for data control in my uh, live demonstration and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just you know get a collection and drag and drop onto the page and for now I, I have many controls that I can create I'm gonna create a list view and that list view could be uh, let's say let's use the first name here and I'm going to customize it a little bit because I don't want only the first name so I want the first name and last name so to do any kind of customization I could do uh, through the bindings layer and then the bindings layer I could you know just go through that and see what available attributes are in there so I have all of them returning from the web service I, I'm going to select the first name and last name and then I can start playing with those things on my uh, on my app here so let's say I use another expression uh, language here and that's gonna be last name so each of these lines are gonna have you know uh, the first name space last name and like you saw on my task flow uh, there is an action that I when I'm, when I'm gonna tap uh, on the list item so I'm gonna transition flip right transition to the contacts list to the contacts details so to set that transition so I go and select the list item and then I'm gonna say the action on the tab or any action on that is gonna be the get details and that's primarily uh, how we're gonna navigate from one uh, page to the other so the second uh, page so this is all I have to do on this page here so the second page the contacts detail so let's go ahead and start customizing it so I'm gonna set a primary action which is the button on the left so I'm gonna set the action to go back on my page so I could select you know many users and then navigate back into uh, the details so this is my uh, contact details on my button I'm gonna set the text to be back and then I have a predefined pre-built uh, action underscore underscore back that's going to help me navigate back to where I were on my prison on my application so let me just go back and show you the preview here so this is contact contact details that I set on my uh, header and here's the back button that I just created so additionally I want to see the details of each one of these users so since I'm using the same data control I'm just going to select uh, the same data control drag and drop into onto the page so I don't need a list anymore I need uh, something like a form and I'm going to use a read-only form and those are the options that I have available so I don't need to see the ID uh, I want to see the first name last name I don't need the date of birth and the address is fine so you can pretty much see what is coming back and basically I'm going to also provide um, the map location based on the address of my contact so I'm gonna see uh, how that plots into a, a map because the mobile application framework has something called data visualization so that's a another component uh, that we have available and that could be you know a bar chart bubble chart uh, line chart and a bunch of other things like dials ratings and, and everything and we also have a geographic map that I'm gonna just you know grab from the palette drop onto my page and you know you see that you know those things live uh, happening on my preview and there is also a point location that I'm gonna use uh, to pass my contact address 
So as you see, I have on the bindings, I have the address uh, of my contact. So I'm gonna put that on my uh, address field of my map. And this is pretty much all that I, all that I have to do in here uh, to get that information, to get that data plot into the map. So that's basically, you know, uh, creating a single flow that goes from the contact list to the contact uh, details. We're gonna go ahead and deploy that application uh, to my iOS simulator so you're going to see what is going to look like uh, live on the simulator but basically I have a two-page uh, task flow and on the first page we're going to see that we you know we grab all the data coming back from uh, from the rest web service and then we present a list of users and if I tap on in, each one of these users I navigate to the contact details page and then the details is going to be related to the user that I that I just tapped on and it's gonna bring back, you know, the first name, last name, uh, the address, and also we are, we're going to use a, the address, you know, to plot that information onto the map. And let's see how that works. So at this point, JDeveloper is just generating uh, all the necessary uh, stuff. So compiling all this stuff that we have on our application uh, and, and calling uh, Apple's Xcode because since I, since I'm uh, deploying my application on iOS, so I have to generate a uh, .ipa file, and we pretty much, you know, we compile everything that we have on our side on the Oracle Mobile Application Framework uh, application, pass that to the Xcode, and Xcode do the final uh, compilation and signing of that uh, of that app. So at this point, the deployment is finished, and uh, I have my iOS simulator in here. I call this uh, little app a uh, demo app. And this is where I have my demo app right now. So you're going to see that you know it's going to be making a call uh, to to the contact list or to the, the web server, the REST web server. So I have you know two users coming back, and if I tap on the first one, which is jQuery, uh, you see that you know I have my contact details here. So Jake's first name, where is the last name, and then the address, and then you can see that I we just plot into the map here. So this is. Uh, 9515 Town Center uh, Drive in San Diego. And if I navigate it back, and then I have another user, which is in this case is myself. So that's uh, another address. And then you see uh, that we have another address in there. So it's a different a different city, different zip code, different address uh, at all. So basically, this is the first part of, of this uh, little demonstration. Um, the second part, we are going to do a create another feature and and use a SOAP web service, a, a external SOAP web service, so you're going to see how to, to work with that as well. Thank you very much, and I see you soon.